Alrighty, we are getting there. Uh, two more stacks. So, next up now is one that was recommended to me by Tom over at the Horrors Ball channel. So it's called House of Fears. He had posted this one and got me, got me curious. So I asked about it. And he said, yeah, definitely get you a copy. Check it out. Little did I know that that was going to be kind of hard to do, um, at least for me. I, I had a tough time finding one for like a, a reasonable price, but I was finally able to find one for cheap. Um, so that was kind of tough, but I found one. So, um, so I hope I like this. It's recommended, so can't wait to check it out. House of Fears. So cool. Pretty sure I'll dig it. I mean, that looks pretty cool, right? All right, another one, Blind Buy in Fear. Looks like one of those um, creepy thrillers. Couple get lost in the woods. And something like that. In a remote Irish countryside. Huh. Anchor Bay. Yeah, Anchor Bay released that. I pick up, I've picked up quite a few of their Blu-rays. So in fear, I must fall. That looks pretty cool. Always appreciate hand drawn, hand drawn and or hand painted cover art. So yeah, that looks that looks pretty wild. Another blind buy. Chapter two. I dug it. It was fun. Went to the theater and watched this with my oldest. Um, Sun. We had a good time. I dug it. I like both of them. That's that. Kill Command. Upgrade. Fun movie. And then Killer. 30th anniversary edition. For right now, it's self-distributed. Uh, I've been holding, holding out and holding out, thinking that uh, Vinegar Syndrome or somebody would officially make a really nice edition of this one. But this is nice. It's loaded with special features. It's just another one of those slashers. I'm glad to finally get it off my list. So, killer. Killer High, another killer pig movie. And this one's actually good. This one's actually got some uh, fun practical effects, surprisingly. But uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. Some dodgy moments, but for the most part, it was a lot of fun. Conga, upgrade. Some King Kong knockoffs. Kino Larber. Yep, finally. Lovely Molly. Didn't have this one. Um, it has been recommended to me several times over the years, so I'm, I'm finally finally grabbed a copy. I've liked a, quite a few of his movies, so um, it's a Blair Witch dude, I believe. So yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of one movie he did that I, I really do like. It's like my favorite out of his. Ah, it's just not coming to mind, but it's fairly new. Anyway, Lovely Molly. Yeah, Mom. Yep. This definitely excited me. Yeah. I behaved. I did stay away from the Burn On Demand DVD, but it was tough. It, it was so tough to stay away from it. Thinking back, I might as well just grab a copy when it first came out, really. Because, I mean, it, it took a while for this to drop. It really did. But I was patient. One of the few times I was actually patient. So awesome. Another one off the old wish list. Cool. 
Uh, this one was recommended to me recently. So uh, when I did my like shelf by shelf, um, this was uh, recommended to me. I didn't have this one. I need to check it out. I checked out the trailer and I was like, yeah, I don't. I can't believe I didn't. Uh, can't believe I didn't reach it. Research into this. This totally flew over my radar. Which isn't hard to do. So many movies, so little time. So Mutant Chronicles, can't wait to check this out. It does look like a lot of fun, so I like old Ron Perlman. Who else is in this? John Malkovich? Thomas Jane? Cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Right there. <laughs> it's getting late, guys. I gotta hurry. Um, my Soul to Take. Um, a little later, Wes Craven movies that... I'm willing to give it another shot. I know I wasn't too crazy about it when I first when this first came out and I, I saw it. I like the look of the killer. I thought it was a badass looking knife right there. The killer did look pretty creepy looking with all those dreadlock type things hanging off of him. Some gory kills. It is rated R. I'll give it another shot. My soul to take. Night Stalker. From the director of the the Boogeyman. I take it the new, the newer Boogeyman movies. I don't think this is from the director of like the the, the original '80s Boogeyman. No. But based on a an actual serial killer. Oh, Night Stalker. I think there's a new, another movie. It goes by the same title. It might be the same movie, just different cover art, but. I wanted to get this one. And I love that cover. It sort of has a maniac vibe to it, doesn't it? Pickaxe. Um, just sounded cool. Cool looking killer. Uh, straight to the point. Pickaxe slasher. Another wild eye. Wild eye making things interesting. One of my favorite. From the uh, 70s? Late 70s, I believe. Yeah, that sort of take care of the earth, save the save the earth. Um, creature feature, mutant bear. Good stuff. Love the love the look of the bear. Very scary and intimidating for sure. So prophecy, the monster movie, pretty cool. Cool kills, body parts flying left and right. So, pretty cool. I remember watching that around the same time I watched Amityville Part Three. Um, I don't know. They just those two movies just fit together. Well, I guess because they just had cool monsters in them. Uh, Proxy, Blind by. Uh, I figured I'd go ahead and take a chance. It seems to be. It just seems interesting when I read more up on it. I had made some time to read more up on it. Queen of Blood. It's a silent movie, I believe. Way, like, it completely just all about experimental and very, very artsy. Yeah. Been on the fence for the longest time. Coming from Intervision. Was it Intervision and uh, Seven, right? Yeah, Seven's little side company there. And then Queen of Blood. It's okay. Not bad. I haven't seen this since it first came out. Uh, very tragic about her. Um, I do remember that she passed away I thought that was crazy um, but yeah Queen of the Damned picking up some Queen titles and then some Godzilla uh, inspired movies here I'm just not going to say that right but God of the Monsters Riga SRS Cinema limited editions and then another one this one's the King of the Sea Monsters I'm not going to say that right either. So. Supposedly these movies were very obscure. Or if in 
Japan. I don't know. Ready or not, I'm going to be watching this tonight, so I might as well set that over here. So, looking forward to checking that out. That looks like a lot of fun. Um, Red Letter, Red Letter Day. Um, I, I dig. I dig this cover art. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this one. But it does have reversible cover, which is pretty cool as well. I always love, appreciate the hand drawn or, you know, hand painted stuff. But I'm gonna have to go for this. I just, it just has that giallo vibe there, and it's just very simple. Three knives, with the face there. It's beautiful. Very simple, but very effective. So red letter day. Heal thy neighbor. The Resident, oh, those Hammer, new new Hammer movies, thrillers. And then finally, awesome, uh, part two of Return to Class of Newcomb High. Or Return to Return to Class of Newcomb High. So I can't wait to watch this one. I know, I'm super late to the party. The Biote. I'll catch it. I heard it's not as good as the first return of Class of New Game High, but I, don't know. I I think it'll be awesome to watch these watch this back to back with the other one. What's that? Uh, another serial killer themed movie, uh, The River Man. Pretty cool. Based off a of real serial killer. Road Games. I finally saw this for the first time. I love the ending. But this is more of a thriller, for sure. Um, just a good... It's just an interesting movie. It just kept me... Um, just kept me watching. It, uh, it was a fun watch. As a, like I said, it was the first time for me. I never had this on DVD or any other format. And I love the ending. With the, It gets... Finally, you get some a uh, little bit of gore there. I just love the way it ends. It's awesome. And uh, there's another another Australian themed horror movie. Beautiful visuals. Um, yeah, I liked it. Road Games. And then another made-for-TV movie. Finally, getting around to Roswell. Uh, the UFO cover-up. Never seen it before, but glad to finally get it off the wish list. Savage. Another one from Wellgo USA. A cop and some uh, crooks have to survive the harsh conditions and while um, going at it with each other. That doesn't sound right, does it? You guys know <laughs> I'm getting tired. Uh, let's see. Scary stories to tell in the dark. I love this one. Um, I did not get to see this in theater. I wanted to. I just didn't have the time. Uh, but this one definitely would have been one of those theater-worthy movies. Uh, I rented it. I, I knew I was going to no, I waited till I got this in and watched it. No, I, um, I wanted to rent it because I had a little patience, but I waited because I knew I was going to buy it anyway. So it was a lot of fun. I liked it. It was creepy. So that was a good one. I liked that. My favorite one was the, um, my favorite one out of all the stories it had been that creepy big lady just walking slowly down the hallway. And then, yeah, that was just bizarre. But um, they're all pretty good. Uh, seconds Apart. Another recommendation. A couple times over the years. Finally getting around to it. You know, one of those evil um, twin, bad twin horror movies. My battery's getting low. I gotta hurry. That's gonna be four videos total, guys. Um, shock. 
This is video number three. Cool. Um, you know what? I'm going to stop it right there. And then I'll go through. Uh, that'll be it. It'll be four videos total. So at least I know. At least now. So uh, later, guys. Uh, I'll be back with the uh, last uh, bit of this update. So uh, come back when you can. Uh, yeah, later.